So this is just sort of an impulse video about something that's been getting a lot of attention lately and it's about Kim.com and if you guys aren't aware this guy's been kind of implying and alluding to the fact that he has the 33,000 Hillary Clinton emails that were deleted off her private server and he also kind of implies that he sent them to WikiLeaks so I'll just be talking about that and to start off this kind of all starts in December of 2014 where he sends this tweet out, I'm not a pirate, I'm not a fugitive, internet freedom fighter, and Hillary's worst nightmare in 2016. The big thing about this is he sent this tweet out in 2014, so almost two years ago now. So it looks like he's been planning this for a pretty long time. The reason he doesn't like Hillary is because right now he's in a legal battle to be extradited into the United States, and Hillary's sort of the one that signed off on all of that. So I think it's safe to say this guy has an axe to grind with Hillary right now. He then tweeted this out in 2015. He said, What if Hillary Clinton email server was hacked? What if all the deleted emails are released on October 26th? Happy birthday. And October 26th is Hillary Clinton's birthday. So it just kind of seems like he's asking these rhetorical questions implying that the server was hacked and the emails will be released on the 26th. Now we really don't get any more information from him until the 26th, which is today. And it starts out with him tweeting this, it says ring ring with a phone emoji. And this is in reference to Hillary Clinton with the Benghazi thing about how she wasn't up at 3 a.m. And conveniently, he tweeted this out at 3 a.m. in his time zone. A few minutes later, he tweets this out. He says, does WikiLeaks have 33,000 explosive candles for Hillary's birthday cake? Maybe. So it just really seems like he's implying that WikiLeaks has these emails or someone has these emails. And he's making it sound like they're supposed to come out today, which WikiLeaks hasn't said anything. Uh, no one else has really said anything. So you kind of really have to question this now. He just sort of continues by saying bleach bitch. <laughs> bleach bit can't bleach it, but he put that in there too. He's essentially saying she can't delete these emails because she used that bleach bit software to erase the emails the first time and now he's kind of implying that she can't erase them again because he has them or someone else has them. And then so the last thing we got for a while was a video of him <laughs> reacting to the AOL you got mail thing and he tweeted this out saying oh no at WikiLeaks and I would honestly play the video but it's kind of pointless he's just making a surprised face and it kind of implies like WikiLeaks is getting emails either from him or from someone so about 16 hours passed from that video and then he tweeted this out and a lot of people were actually really upset because they're wondering why are you tweeting all these things? Where's the emails? Why did you imply that you had the emails and all that? But in this one, he says he knows where the deleted emails are and how to get them legally. Is step one, go to NSA.gov, contact Mike Rogers, which is one of the heads of the NSA, so to say. Ask Mike to open X or cross key score which is the NSA's program to kind of filter through all the data they collect. And step four, input this selector. And with that, he's kind I guess he's giving instructions on how to get them legally through the NSA. Now, a lot of people were really mad and pissed off at him for... Now, a lot of people were kind of mad and pissed off at him for this one because they thought maybe he hyped this whole thing up just to give him that. But I think that's actually a really good tweet when you look at it because you can read the stuff on the screen right now. I'm just going to talk over it because he's just saying that the NSA has the emails and if you want to get them, you, you should go through them. But he always says legally. He doesn't say illegally or another route or whatever he says right there. Now, the big thing about that is that maybe he's saying that because they will be released, but in order to use them against someone, they have to come through a legal chain of command. That's why when you see a lot of leaks or videos or stuff, people don't get prosecuted is because that evidence is kind of obtained illegally. So yeah, I think he's 
I I really don't know if he has the emails. I don't know much about this guy. I think I know more than the average person, but I can't tell you if maybe this is just some elaborate hoax or something. If it is, he's really dedicated. If it isn't, he's still pretty dedicated because it looks like he's been setting this up for at least two years, in the last year, especially in the last year. So I'll just quickly go over the pros of this and the cons. So he, I think he might be setting up a failsafe to say, okay, well, if I release these emails, they're going to be released illegally. So we, if Hillary's going to get in trouble, she's going to have to get the emails legally or the prosecutor's going to have to get them legally from the NSA. He's also been alluding to this for at least two years, and I think that's a lot of time just to pull off a hoax I guess and the cons are pretty simple I mean it's almost the end of the 26th which is the date that he's been implying that all this is gonna go down it also could obviously just be a hoax or he could be hyping it up a lot more than it really should be and then lastly if you don't know there's been this rumor going around that WikiLeaks has been compromised that's to say that WikiLeaks the team WikiLeaks isn't in control of WikiLeaks anymore because they got taken out by the government or something. I'm not 100% sure if that's true. I feel like we would know a bit more, but that would be the absolute worst case scenario because what could happen is he's friends with Julian Assange, so he might have known that they had the emails and they were coming out on the 26th, but now if they're compromised, they're not going to come out on the 26th, and he's going to look really foolish because he was always talking about how they're going to come out on the 26th and all that stuff. But anyways, as always, just let me know what you think. Form your own opinions on this stuff. I'm just trying to give the information. If you have any ideas, just leave them in the comment section, and I'll see you next time. Now which way do we go? Is the question to ask?